How you doing? It's Rubia. I hope you're all good. So we're back at it with another Quad Cortex video. I'm doing a little series at the minute because uh, Quad Cortex has just come out. Everyone can see the videos that are out on the internet now. So I'm doing a series. Um, so in this video, we're going to be looking at capturing, specifically pedal capturing, because of course Quad Cortex can capture pedals. So I thought I'd, you know, capture a bit of everything really. I've got four pedals, something really cheap, something really expensive, and a couple of things in the middle, um, just because I thought it'd be fun. So the way I've gone about doing it is setting up two different um, pedal capture patches, one simulating a clean amp and one simulating a crunch amp, because I like to blend with both. So I'm going to start with like the most affordable pedal and move the way up. So I'm just going to crack on. I'm going to show you what it sounds like, the patches, then we're going to capture and then compare. So here we go. This is the strat into my um, pedal capture patch for crunch. So I'm simulating, well actually this is my VX100 crunch capture. <laughs> Sounds great, sounds like the, the Kraken. I'm using two cabs here, rather than giving you a capture with the cab as well, I figured, because some pedals are gonna sound different, we can change the mics after the fact, it just shows off the versatility of Quad Cortex. And then I've added a room reverb to give it a little bit of, you know, ambiance. Okay. So the first pedal we're gonna capture, I thought was funny, because it's like the cheapest pedal I've got. It's the Wild Throw from Tone City. Um, so yeah, I, this is where I got it set, where I thought it sounded great with the Strat in front of this capture, so. As you can hear, it's pretty ridiculous. I've just gunned the gain, but I thought it sounded really nice in front of this crunch patch. So what we're gonna do next is capture the pedal and then I'm gonna place the actual capture of it here um, in front of this preset. And then we can literally turn stomp box mode on and A, B the two to see how close it actually sounds. So let's go into the capturing process. As you can see, the cheat sheet's here for you to be able to set up to do a new capture. It's a bit different with the pedals, of course. Uh, you still plug your instrument into return, but capture out goes to the in of the pedal, and then the output of the pedal goes into the input of the quad cortex, and that's basically it. It's much, much simpler. Uh, but anyway, that's how you do it. So you hook it all up, and now the really important bit is to check your instrument level and your in level, because you don't want to blast uh, the quad cortex and it'll clip and won't capture properly. So I was speaking to Doug at Neural DSP and he said it needs to be as close to clipping as possible as in the device itself. So my instrument level, I'm trying to emulate the same it would come in at if I was just using the quad cortex normally. This is a vintage output guitar, so it's around on the um, input screen, I can see it hits around minus 21. And when we've done that and we're all happy, everything sounds good. Make sure your ground lifts on if you've got any unwanted noise. And then at that point, we hit start capture. You're gonna hear a bunch of weird noises normally if you were doing an amp capture, but as this is a pedal, it's just playing the sounds in straight back out into Quad Cortex. And this takes roughly about sort of five minutes. It is worth saying that some uh, pedals can't be captured, like fuzzes, anything with internal gates. You can't do any time-based pedals yet. Not yet, uh, like modulation or delay or anything yet, but we can do boosts, we can do overdrives, we can do some fuzzes, we can do tube screamers treble boosters, uh, distortions, there's a lot we can do, so it's good fun. Okay, now I've loaded it in, I've got it set up on stomp box mode, so I can add it there, or here. So, here we go. First, here's the sound of the preset. Here comes a wild throw, the real wild throw. And here's the capture.
Okay, so we've a bead the capture against the actual pedal, and I've got to be fair, you know, there's a slight difference, not gonna lie, you can kind of hear it. I think there's a little more low end in the real pedal, but man, it's very, very close. It feels very, 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 very close. So that's awesome. And again, I think it's funny because that's the cheapest pedal I've got going into something like this, such an intense disparity between the two, but it's cool and it sounds good. But anyway, let's crack on and do the rest of the pedals that I've got to try. So next on the list is one I'm incredibly excited to capture because I'm really keen to know if it's gonna do a good job or not. And that is the Revival Drive Compact from Origin Effects. And uh, I love this pedal, I use it a lot, so I'm excited. But let's just plug it in. I'm just gonna set it up in front of my uh, clean preset that I made. So this is my clean capture preset. I'll show you what it sounds like in just a moment. Okay, so this is my clean pedal capture patch. This is different now. I'm using the clean channel of my VX100 um, into a V30 cabinet that I'd, it's a capture I've done before. And then I'm just using a room reverb. So this is what this capture sounds like. Sounds really good. The reason that I chose to use captures in this video is because I know the sound of my amp, so I, I figured for me to be able to hear how close it is, it would be good to do it with an amp that I know. So anyway, Revival Drive Compact. I've got it set up how I like it, but this is what we've got going into the um, Quad Cortex. <laughs> So that's how uh, the Revival Drive sounds in front of my VX100 clean capture that I've made. I think it sounds lush. It's just a little bit of bite, which is something I really like. So now that I'm happy with the sound of it, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the capture menu and do it all again. All right then, well, since we're here, I may as well go ahead and capture the other pedals that I wanted to do, and then we'll just test them out afterwards, because otherwise we're going back and forth and back and forth, and we're rigged up for capturing. So the next thing I'm gonna do is capture one of my personal favorite pedals ever, and that's the Mr. Black Thunderclaw. I use this pretty much in every record that I've done with the uh, Dorgio Tosca and any other recordings. I just, it's such a great, it's like a fuzz distortion. So I'm not sure how it's gonna work here, because it, apparently it can be temperamental capturing fuzzy stuff, but with that in mind, it's one of my favorite pedals ever, so I'd love to capture it and see how it sounds. These are the settings that I had before with my uh, crunch channel that I was happy with, so I'm just gonna leave them as they are and go ahead and start capturing. Okay, so I've captured the Thunderclaw, we're gonna move straight on to the final pedal that I'm gonna capture, just get them all done. So the final pedal I wanna capture is one of my new favorites, and this is the Beatronics Fat B. I'm a huge fan of this as well. It's similar to the Thunderclaw, but it's more fuzzy and more filthy, especially when you have all the knobs turned on full, which is how I'm gonna capture it. So uh, yeah, let me swap it over and we'll have a listen. Once again, because it's a fuzz, it's gonna be super high output, I imagine, so we might have to just ride the level, as I can see, without even the volume up. Look at that, reddish. So I'm gonna double tap. Yeah, it's just about to clip at minus seven, so I'm gonna go ahead and capture this. Okay, so everything's captured, I've done it all, so we're gonna go back to the Revival Drive, and then we're gonna test the Thunderclaw and then the Fat B. So, this is my clean pedal capture, as we said before. I've got it in stomp mode, so this is the sound of the Revival Drive, the actual Revival Drive into my clean capture. And here comes the actual capture we've just done. So it's very similar. I'm hearing more mids, less gain. So I'm gonna boost the gain and I'm gonna drop the mids of this capture and let's see if it sounds any closer. So this is the actual pedal. And here is the capture. And it's still louder, but 
I mean, that's the beauty of this. You've got the scope. When I jump in there and I can control gain, bass, middle, and treble and volume, you know, I can really emulate. I would say that the difference in volume isn't ideal, and that's easy to fix if I go into the capturing process and I just change the in level of the revival drive down uh, by probably around that amount. So if I take the in level down 15 dB, <laughs> it'll probably capture at the right volume. But basically, I think that's my error, not so much the quad cortex. But with a just tweak, a little bit of tweak of the gain and the EQ on the capture, and it sounds so similar. So here we go. Again, revival drive. And then. sounds great and it feels really good sorry if the playing's a little bit rudimentary i'm just messing around but that is great so i'm happy with that uh, anyway let's crack on and try out the other pedals cool so now we're onto the thunderclaw one of my favorites um so let me just try this is the crunch patch again okay so i've got the thunderclaw capture here on stomp box as you can see so let's start with the patch Thunderclaw and capture. It just needed a sorry about that really weird riff. It's giving me the vibe of the Thunderclaw, which is more than enough for where I need it as a capture when I'm recording. Because, again, when you record and you mix and all the rest of it, you EQ and compress and all sorts of re all sorts of other stuff. So yeah, I think that's a great thing that I can capture my pedals that close and record them on recordings and stuff to get that vibe. I mean, if I don't have my my pedal board and my Thunderclaw with me and I've got it captured in here, it gets me that close. I'm happy about that. All right, final pedal, the Fat B. This is an absolute beast pedal. I highly recommend it if you've not tried it before. In front of a crunch, it's just awesome. So, strap, crunch. Here comes the Fat B, everything on full. Stompbox mode, fat B. So it sounds like the capture has less gain. So let's boost the gain, boost the bass. That's just nuts. Even It feels like the gain that I'm adding on the capture here is the same kind of gain that I'm adding there, but that's on full. I don't know, it's wizardry. In any case, it sounds great, it sounds really close. And I'd be happy with that once again. It's a great sound. <laughs> Just 
that. Anyway, anyway, that would conclude the end of this video. I thought I'd share it with you because I was doing it anyway, just messing around, grabbing some pedals and thought I'd try out the capturing process on pedals. Um, so that was it and I thought I'd share it with you. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'd love to know what you think in the comment section below. I'll link stuff in the, in the description box, such as the Quad Cortex and the pedals that I've captured, just in case you're interested to check them out for your own rig. Um, but yeah, the Quad Cortex is a beast, what can I say? Really, really enjoying using it and, uh, you know, call that whatever you want. As far as I'm concerned, I fully endorse the epicness that is this Neural DSP Quad Cortex. It's just great. So easy to use, so enjoyable, and it still makes me laugh with just amazement it, how good it can do things like this. The fact that I went ahead and I captured the pedal, captured my amplifier, but then I've used built-in cabs that Nolly's made and I can change the mic positions after the fact. I can add two mics on each cab, so I've got four mics I can blend if I wanted to, plus reverb and delay and any other effects that I want. I could double this up in a stereo rig. I could blend those two in a stereo rig. So it goes even further than just capturing it and enjoying the way it sounds so close. It's, it's, it's nuts. Anyway, links in the description box. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, I've been Rabir, and I'll see you all very soon.